Hey everybody, what's up? I'm um, making this video out of requests by some people um, in person and uh, on YouTube, you know. Uh, people ask me how I get faster. This is how you get faster. Um, some basic things I'm going to go over first before I show you some things, but um, there's always going to be some practice exercises. I'm going to show you some of those. And then there's a few things you just always have to do. In order to get faster, you have to be able to count, you know. Everyone has to be able to count and have rhythm, you know. So um, get your metronome out. We're going to go tick by tick. Uh, you just take any of these exercises I give you and you just take it at a slow tempo, bump it up maybe 10 beats per minute, you know, and eventually um, you'll start finding difficulty and that's, you need to bump it back down and then start from that speed and just keep on practicing at that speed. Um, practicing for prolonged periods of time, doing the same thing, you know, a lot of repetition at the same time. That'll give you some serious results. Like if you sit there and you just, you can alternate pick at a really fast speed, but if you can only do it for 10 seconds, that's not practicing it. If you can sit there and do it for a minute before you start feeling some pain, then you're you're on your way. Then maybe you should speed it up a little bit. But uh, my kind of practicing consists of sitting there doing the same thing for maybe five to ten minutes before I start getting a little bit of fatigue. And that's really how you get your speed, being able to endure through it. Then it pushes your margin of comfort a little further out so you can be more comfortable going fast. Um, about the pain, the pain should not be in your joints. Should be in forearm, this forearm. That's where you should get it. If you get it in your wrist, you're doing something wrong. Um, maybe change your technique up a little bit. Don't play your guitar down here. That'll give you carpal tunnel eventually. Like you see how I play. I play in this position. Release the tension out of my wrist. Release the tension out of this wrist. It just kind of puts a little bit on your tricep. It's no big deal. Um, be clear when you play. You know, play play articulately. I'm going to switch this on clean. There we go. So if you play on clean, on, I'm going to say your bridge pickup just because it's going to show up a lot more obviously if you mess up. So be clear when you play. Don't be sloppy. Don't play. Don't play like that. Play. Very clearly note individually and you knew I was plucking it correctly. Like when I do my arpeggios, I practice them very, uh, very much the same way. You know? Um, I always play on the clean setting and practice like stuff that I'm worried about if I'm clear enough because the distortion will cover it up and everyone knows that. Um, I like to practice single-handed on some stuff like especially the arpeggios. And I'll sit there. I'll, I'll mute the strings with the palm of my hand. I'm not, I'm not grabbing on. I'm just holding on lightly, and then. And it, it won't come out very loudly, but if you're hearing that you're getting the notes, like uh, sufficiently, like you should at least get a little bit of a, a little thump like that. Then you know you're hitting your note enough. And I, I like to do that. I like to do that for scales. You know? then you can also do your other exercise. Um, use your pinky. I know some people tell me I don't use my pinky a lot. Yes, I do. I practice with my pinky. If I'm more comfortable using my other fingers, it's because I can go faster with them, and I'm working on getting my pinky faster. Um, nobody's a perfection with their pinky. Maybe George Lynch is. I mean, if you go watch some of George Lynch's old videos, he's like, it's like he does all these bends and crazy things with just his pinky. Uh, pretty ridiculous to watch. Now I'm we'll start going over some exercises. This will probably be the important part for a lot of you. Um, I think the previous part is pretty important now. <laughs> um, let's see. My main exercise I give beginners is the pick four exercise. Pick four frets that are adjacent. So one, two, three, four, there's four of them. Then you just, basic exercise is play those four, move up a string, play the next four. <laughs> good at alternate picking yet, then take it slow. And then descending. The other parts of pick four involve changing up which which uh, which frets you play. So instead of adjacently, chromatically, you... Stuff like that. Uh, 
change your pattern up. Or, or you don't even have to start on the first note. And what I like to do with that is I start to do string skipping exercises where you do that, only you skip strings in odd patterns. So I'll go first string, third string, second string, fourth string. And my favorite one to mix that one up is to go ascending per string, but descending the string. So. And then reverse to go upward, so descending each string, ascending the strings. I like that. Those will get on, on this wrist, and they'll also help with your coordination between your fingers. Um, my next one is the burner. I call it the burner because it makes this arm burn real bad. I don't care who you are. This one's going to make you burn if you do it enough. So, um, you just pick those four again, and what we're going to do is we're going to go... It's up three strings, and we're going to go back down those. Then up another two. And down one. Then up two. And down one. Up two. So then we start at the top and we can go down two, up one, down two, up one, but it's going to sound like... And then eventually... You know, What I do is I start down the low, go all the way up, come all the way back down. Just keep it on a metronome setting, tick, 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 follow along with it. I like to climb by twos and threes. It's a good thing to uh, do. It's it's a brain teaser. I like to do brain teasers because they, they uh, expand your capacity to do long phrases of, of complex noting and stuff like that. But um, let's take our uh, A major scale. This time I'm actually in standard tuning. I'm just on a seven string. But... Uh, what we do is you go climb by two. So we're going to hit the first note, skip one, then you're going to hit the third note, come back to the second note, fourth note. You follow the pattern. It just goes up two, down one. Kind of like we were doing with string skipping earlier. Only this time we were doing it by uh, 